hesitate to win your love from me just to see how much I love you let me understood let me play for you da -da 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 what does it take to win your love from me? La 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 la. Good morning, good afternoon, y'all. Welcome to the Mental House with me, your host, Khadija. <coughs> Glad to be back. I was a little under the weather, so I want to thank all of y'all who gave me a shout out. Boston, I thank you. I thank you over there in Buffalo um, and in New York City. Y'all know who y'all are. Thank you very much for being um, a part of the uh, mental health. And thank you all for your donations. And thank you for your support. I really appreciate it more than you ever know. So with that being said, I saw a few things that disturbed me today. And I think I want to share it with the family. Y'all probably heard it too. But it... it, it it's a little cray cray. Okay. And the first one is. Um, okay. In case y'all didn't know. Um, Biden urges Trudeau to get even tougher with Freedom Convoy. Ontario. Canada. In case y'all didn't know. Authorizes cops to seize vehicles and fine drivers. Government asked court to freeze 8.6 million donated on Give, Send, Go, and Mayor warns truckers will be physically removed. Canadian trucker protested since mid-January against Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's COVID-19 vaccine mandate. Okay, so that's what this all is about. International route drivers must be double jabbed, and 85% are. But the demonstrators oppose the rule. Since Monday, at least three U.S. Canadian border bridges have been blocked in Alberta, Alberta, Ontario, and, Man and Manitoba. Ontario's Ambassador Bridge between Detroit, Detroit, and Windsor is that that remember that bridge so much when you go to gamble. Anyway. Um, is North America's busiest international crossing. Ontario Premier, Premier Doug Ford asked courts to freeze donations to truckers on a crowding site, fun crowding site called Give, Send, Go. Um, and Trudeau said that he spoke to officials accused drivers of hurting jobs, businesses, and the country's economy. So it's going to break the country down. Ontario has brought in more draconian rules to crack down on the Freedom Convoy um, truckers, including vehicle seizures and fines just days after hunking was banned and after the U.S. told Canada to use federal powers to end these blockades. U.S. President Joe Biden on Thursday urged his Canadian counterpart Justin Trudeau to impose further rules as the bumper-to-bumper -bumper demonstration on the city's Ambassador Bridge forced auto plants on both sides of the border to shut down or scale back production. See, just think if this was happening simultaneously all over the world. Think about it. This is very interesting, you guys. 
But just think if this was simultaneously happened all over the world. When things begin to get to a boiling point where you where the government is not hearing you. Um, that's when you can make some strides. I don't know what's going to happen with this, but I'm just saying the bridge that I told you that connects Windsor, Ontario with Detroit, Michigan is the busiest international land border. It usually carries more than 327 million goods per day. That's a lot with the, uh, Accommodating 27% of the approximately $400 billion in annual trade between U.S. and Canada. Truck drivers who have been in the city since the Freedom Boy Convoy traveled to the nation's capital on January 23rd and have since Monday blocked the bridge in demonstration against Trudeau's COVID-19 mandate. Under his rule, the truckers driving international routes must be fully vaccinated, and tough 85% of them are. Many oppose the rule. The White House on Thursday said Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas and Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg spoke with their Canadian counterparts and urged them to help resolve the standoff. Hmm. Federal Public Safety Minister Marco Massindo and Royal Canadian Mounted Police reinforcements are being sent to Windsor, Ottawa, Courts, Alberta, where among where another border blockage is happening. So they're happening all over the place. All over. Trudeau met virtually with leaders of Canada's opposition late Thursday and said he spoke with Windsor's mayor. Trudeau's office said there was a willingness to respond with whatever it takes to end the blockage. Mm. Canadian officials previously got GoFundMe to cut off funding after protest organizers used the site to raise about $10 million in Canadian dollars. $7.8 million, I guess, in American dollars. GoFundMe determined that the fundraising effort violated the site's terms of fully due and unlawful activity. With the political and economic pressure mounting, Windsor Mayor Drew Dilkins announced that the city will seek a court injunction to end the occupation, he said. The economic harm is not sustainable and it must come to an end. Uh, do y'all hear that? The economic what? Harm is not sustainable. So it got to come to an end. They loading up on these bridges. I mean, and it is, these truckers, it is incredible. It's crazy. Love over hate. Um, There's a lot of signs out here. These people do not want to get the jab. Like I said, I don't know, y'all. But I know Joe Biden on Thursday urged Canadian counter uh, Justin Trudeau to use federal powers to end the blockades. What y'all think about that? Um, because this don't look like it's gonna end good at all. It doesn't. I want to know what y'all think about our brothers and sisters to the north and how they're taking care of this business when it comes to this jab. All right? Let me know what you think. Leave your comment below. And if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share the channel and the video. Please. See you in the next one.